Hello and welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Elise. Hello. And Leo. Hello. Elise, what the heck are we looking at? <laughs> We're looking at Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. What? Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey? That is the full name from Patrice Desilets' upcoming game. He is the known as the original creator of Assassin's, of the original Assassin's Creed. Ah, ah. And yeah. that did not have enough monkeys in it for his taste. <laughs> so I should say apes. I like to apologize because they do not have tails. So before you get all pedantic, they're commenters. Thank you for the clarification, Quirk. It's helpful. <laughs> uh, so this is a survival game. Uh, it starts off 10 million years ago. You play as an ape, as you can see. And it goes all the, it spans all the way to 2 million years ago. Hmm. And the whole point of it is that you can uh, see the evolution uh, happen. Okay. Right. Basically, but you, you don't get to the point where you're actually humans, but you will get to see, you know, apes slowly being able to walk on two feet, mm -hmm. being able to, you know, figure out how to use both hands and, and learn kind of more mm -hmm. uh, human instincts. Did you just invent the nap? Right is that what this, this is correct. The pivotal moment. Eureka. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I do that. Wow. You can thank this this ape right here. Oh, he's got a, he's got a bit of a regimen for himself. So well. yeah, Very because cool. it's uh because it's a survival game, you do have uh, certain needs that uh -huh. you need to take care of. So you need to eat and sleep, uh, and drink. All right. The big three. The big three. There's also predators all over this jungle mm -hmm. um, that you have to be careful of, that you have to, first you have to avoid until you figure out how exactly to fight them. And you can also make makeshift weapons mm. as you uh, kind of look around the world. So at so. this point, are you playing as a particular ape or are you kind of like controlling the tribe and if one dies, you just take control of a different one? So you can switch characters. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have a clan. Um, mm -hmm. And I can go back to my settlement, and I can uh, switch characters at will, basically. Okay. Um, but yes, this this is the guy I was I was playing at the time. Okay. Did you name him? <sighs> no. Okay. You can name him if you want. Right. Okay. You did not want to. Very interesting. No, no, I said you can name him. Oh, I can name. Oh, <laughs> me, me specifically, me. <laughs> yes, you. Right now. Oh boy, uh, Terrence. Okay, Terrence. Or Terry, as he's known mm. to his friends. Or T. T, I love it. Yeah. Great. We're really doing it. So this is some kind of detective vision, I take it? <laughs> <laughs> he is using his knowledge okay. vision, I suppose, uh, which allows you to kind of mark different uh, interesting kind of waypoints around you. Okay. <clears throat> so presumably you're so. like going to interact with the plant and then it'll either make you sick oh. or restore health? Yeah. So, well, so you'll sometimes you'll find... There's oh, okay. me dying. Why'd you die? <laughs> I actually didn't know. I didn't understand why I died. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping we could get some insight on that. I, yeah, I, I, I had died a couple times and I, I wasn't quite sure. Uh -huh. uh, but now you're playing as a baby. So, the, the thing that I am playing as a baby. So when you, when you play as a baby, uh, you're obviously more vulnerable. And what you can do to try and survive mm -hmm. is get to a hiding spot. And once you get into a hiding spot, you kind of immediately transform into an adult. Uh, and, oh, okay. and, and from there, you can kind of start uh, kind of finding your way again. Yeah. Ah. Jumping ahead again here. All right. To okay. the baby hiding. There he is. Safe and sound. Yeah. And he comes out with a long white beard. <laughs> <laughs> so at the start of the game, you have a couple objectives. Um that the game gives you, such as like, uh, finding out what happened to an elder that had been like attacked by a bird, or uh, helping out, as, you, as we saw before, mm -hmm. the kind of young baby uh, that, that was crying, right. and, and, and taking, taking it on. So there, there are a couple objectives to kind of like help you understand what you can do in this world, mm -hmm. though um, after that, it just lets you do whatever you want. Okay. So the objectives are gone, and it's up to you, basically, to figure out how to survive. And so, these objectives are going to be systemic? They're not, like, set in stone, or are they throughout the rest of the game? That I'm not... Sh I don't think there are really any other any other objectives after that point. Mm. That's mm. what I was told. He says... Oh, I see. He says that's when it ends, and then you get to just kind of free roam 
and try to survive as much as you can. Um, there are different, there are three different game modes. So there is first time experience, which is what I'm on here, which <laughs> starts off with those couple objectives to get you started. And then uh, you can see how long you can survive through the generations. Uh, there's custom, which is kind of self-explanatory. Set your own parameters. Is You can set some of your own parameters. Hmm. <clears throat> and then uh, there was one more, which I'm forgetting right now. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a written preview? I do have a written preview. Mm. Uh, On GameInformer.com? Th- yes. Nice. But yeah, there are three different game modes, uh, and the difficulty uh, is, it cannot be changed. It's just one difficulty. Well, we had gotcha. a question he was a little shy to ask, but I'm going to be emboldened, at least. Did, when you're going through generations, is there some kind of mating? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, there is. How untoward, Cork. <laughs> I know you say a lot in confidence, and I betray you. So I like to apologize. You you're trying to survive as long as possible, which means you want your clan to survive too, mm-hmm. and so obviously you're gonna want to make couples and procreate. Oh. Ugh. I'm just looking at this spectacle oh, here. I thought, this. You were, I thought you were going. Ugh. I'd Get away from that. No. No, I'm all about that. <laughs> my brand. This is Ben Hansen's lunch every day. <laughs> So, as you saw, I just ate an egg for the first time, and it actually made me kind of sick. Ah. There's a little icon that comes up oh, in the, in the rumbly, bottom tumbly. left corner. Yes. Uh, so, that, that happens uh, when you try a food for the first time. But the more you try things, and the more you uh, understand the world around you, mm-hmm. and pick things up and inspect them, you will better understand how things work, and you can update your neurons basically so every right. so when you sleep on a bed uh n- not a real bed obviously like a, a bed of leaves mm-hmm. um <clears throat> from there you can upgrade these skills uh into new things like being able to use both your hands okay and we'll see a little bit of that mm-hmm. in a bit so what's happening here i think that they're upset because the elder died oh they know for sure now that he uh, is dead t- took away bird. by a big bird yeah Do you know how much there is to the clan system? Like, building your settlement, how much of a factor is that versus just day-to-day survival? I don't know for sure, because I, I did ask about um, uh, how much that is part of the game. They did say that as you explore, you want to have a large enough clan and, and have like settlements nearby to be able to like conquer your fear. And as you huh. kind of noticed earlier when we were playing as a baby, that the, the screen got kind of fuzzy mm-hmm. and it just kind of these, these weird voices and stuff came up. Um, and that's because he was like in a fear zone. And that occurs whenever you're in an unfamiliar place or um, oh, good. or when God. a predator is after you. Right. This is me trying to climb and failing. <laughs> you descended relatively <laughs> safely. I, I don't think you could do like a more of an opposite uh, sensation of climbing than what just happened there. Mm. I mm. liked it though. It was very exciting and I'm glad you didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> How did the climbing feel? Was it fun? I liked I, I liked the kind of freedom of climbing and being able to like climbing trees is fun but also a little bit frustrating mm-hmm. because uh, you may not be able to notice here but pretty much you latch onto everything automatically mm. um, and the controls are still quite uh, clumsy so I found them a little bit imprecise uh, and and did have trouble every once in a while. Well, Assassin's Creed guy is new to climbing so that's understandable. <laughs> This is the neuron thing. This here. is what I was speaking about earlier. This is where you will upgrade your skills uh, to learn new new abilities, and these abilities transcend your whole clan. So you once you you you'll be able to lock certain abilities, and then each ape that you play will mm-hmm. be able to have that ability. All right. Now you spotted a dry branch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. Oh, so here I'm using my senses. Mm-hmm. So I am able to listen to sounds around me. So I heard the baby crying. Another baby crying. They're always crying. Uh, and I'm able to go towards it. This is also a good way of identifying predators near you mm-hmm. and uh, better understanding their proximity uh, towards you and stuff. Hmm. 
You sensed it out. I did. Is this solely a single player? This is a experience? single player experience. All right, so don't have to worry about another player's clan coming and stealing your stuff. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> your, your dry stick. Right. Required. And you said forty dollars. Yeah, thirty nine ninety nine. Right. Xbox One, PS4, PC. That's a comfortable price point for me. Yeah. Yeah, I um, I think the concept is really interesting. Um, I am not completely sold on the execution yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I do feel like it's, it still is quite rough around the edges. Mm -hmm. Sure. So how do you, like, what, what, how do you go between generations and what is the event that happens for the, like, because you said you're moving millions of years? Yes. So you Spooky. will have the option to skip generations okay. at some points. So you don't have to go at like a slow pace, basically. You can if you want. But you can skip. I don't know how much. They didn't uh -huh. tell me. But you can skip some generations to kind of move forward in time. Um, and you are so, also are not limited to just like a jungle setting. There oh. are You're going to be all over Africa. Okay. Uh, I did get to see the savanna mm -hmm. of like very wide open space uh, with all sorts of new wildlife. Hmm. Um, and that's just one example of, you know, what, what Desiree said would be several uh, areas. Okay. Can you tell us about this fear and dopamine system here? So you're, uh, yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, your dopamine can go down in these kind of fearful situations. And your dopamine meter, you, um, <clears throat> You want to keep an eye on. Uh, the way you can get it higher is just by doing things that are enjoyable, like eating food or Love learning things. So picking things up and uh, and examining them and, and learning how to use them for your own benefit. Uh, those are examples like that. Hmm. When you're, um, if you are in a fear zone for too long, you. There's me getting eaten. Okay. <laughs> um, if you're in a fear zone for too long, you risk uh, experiencing hysteria, which basically, uh, I, which basically will deplete your dopamine, and it doesn't kill you or anything. But yeah. Right. We will see that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. So rest in peace, mm -hmm. Bach. Uh, we'll never forget you. I'm a child again. Gotta go hide. Yeah, I'm very interested going? in this game. Purely from a perspective of, like, I haven't seen someone try to make a game out of this concept before. I know. Um, I think it's it's an interesting balance because you still want it to be fun. Yeah. You don't want it to just feel like National Geographic the game, you know? Um... I don't know if they have found that balance just yet. Yeah. Sure. Presumably when you're in the savannah, there, you saw lions and I saw all elephants that kind of stuff. And yeah, there, there were all sorts of... Um, did you did a lion eat you? I didn't get to play oh. in the savannah. I saw uh, Petrus mm. show it off to me. So, hmm. yeah. Low dopamine on this one. Yeah, so here I am trying to eat food to get that up. Are you barfing your brains out? Is that what's going on? Mm. No. No, I think he's just a clumsy eater. Oh. He doesn't really know where his mouth is, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> just like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> We've gotten much better at eating over the millennia. <laughs> yeah. So there's drink or risky drink here. Risky drink? Yeah, I don't totally know what risky drink is. I think that mm. just means you're taking more time to drink and if there are predators near you, that they could attack you. Mm. Um, Did you run into any situations where you were having to fight a member of your clan to assert your dominance or is everyone I just into not, what you're doing? I have not had any conflict with my own clan members yeah. and I don't know if that's possible. Yeah. You can invite outsiders really? uh, to join your clan. Here I, here I am poisoned. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's bitten by a snake. <laughs> that viper. Oh, there he is. So you were bitten by a snake, and then a warthog charged you, and then they got in a fight with each other is yes. what just happened. I, th I thought that was kind of cool. Is And you can kind of do that um, purposely. You, If you see two predators that are kind of near each other, you can kind of 
bait them towards each other sure. so that they attack one another instead of you. And the way that played out seemed interesting. Like it could have gone a different way depending on the predators. Yes. Yeah, that's interesting. I thought that was neat too. So you have sense of smell also. So this is my hearing Mm -hmm. that I use, but I can also use smell if I want to uh, find food near me. Is that something you can improve? Your sense of smell? I assume yes, but I don't. I don't want to say for sure because I'm not sure. Sure. Are you going to discover a fire in the game? <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. I wonder. This looks like a good place to put fire, right? I found a new gathering spot. Oh, okay. A just liftable rock. Okay. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> What's Look, a... Everything is new to me. Yeah. What are gathering spots for? These are places that your clan can settle. They must be experiencing, like, abject terror, as we saw, but just... The most concentrated blast of joy imaginable is everything they're doing. Like a liftable rock is like an amazing new discovery to them. Yeah, huge dopamine release for that. (laughs) Yeah, things that you would think are um, not a big deal, Mm -hmm. like to us, are are like a huge like eureka moment for the for your for your character, and and also by extension to you when you play this game because. because the whole the, you're not guided really at all. I mean, outside of those couple objectives that we saw at the beginning mm-hmm. of the campaign, you uh, you're really left to your own devices, and so everything you find kind of feels like its own discovery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know if there's some kind of compendium that gathers all your discoveries? I don't know. Hmm. Might have to keep it yourself. Maybe. Yeah. Is there like a like, like a mini map or anything? I, I see you've got something in the corner there. Like yeah, the, I think that's just radar, but... like where your clan mates are. Uh-huh. Um, other than that, no, I think this is the whole uh, whole HUD. Did you find yourself getting lost very often? Because it seems like I did. Yeah, it's... I got lost every once. I guess in a if your clan, you know where. I your mean, clan you're is, able you to kind of... use your senses to kind of reorient yourself, mm-hmm. but. Um, Generally, what I felt most lost with was kind of the, the mechanics and of just kind of like, well, what, am I doing? what do I have to do yeah. to progress, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, because that that was my biggest problem with the game was that there isn't a lot of balance between, like, the freedom of the tutorials. There mm-hmm. are very few tutorials to the point where you kind of feel like you're fumbling around in the dark. Mm-hmm. Um so I hope that they will find a little bit more balance with that stuff. Yeah. Um, now, like, when is the game coming out? I'm just wondering, like, a timeline in terms of... This know, year. This they didn't year, specify okay. when, but they said this year. This year, okay. Yeah. Ah. Are you doing a dodge move here? I am doing a dodge move. <laughs> Does that As feel in... tactile and satisfying? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't... Like I said, the controls the controls need work. Sure. From my point of view, anyway. That's, uh, I hope they get work. <laughs> Feels like there's a live or die by how fun the, the moment-to-moment climbing is and yep. dealing with predators. Absolutely. Because the freedom of climbing seems cool. Just the fact mm-hmm. you can climb on anything, like, like Breath of the Wild. Would you say this is like Breath of the Wild for people who like apes? Ah, uh, oh wow, that is a tall... Just to feed them a back-of-the-box <laughs> quote here. I... <laughs> In the sense of exploration, maybe. Yeah. Uh, possibly. Seems free. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's, what, what was the coolest thing that happened to you? Was there anything really cool that happened in your play session that surprised you? Um, I think my encounters with predators were probably uh, the most interesting thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just kind of... Kind of understanding how the world works or picking up a stick and realizing like, oh, I could maybe actually use this as a weapon. Mm-hmm. Things like that. I yeah. have one last question. Can a predator eat your baby off your back? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Please. Oh, also, Please no. when you have a baby on your back, mm-hmm. you, it gives you kind of a buff. Oh. Um, <laughs> like a master blaster situation. <laughs> kind of. uh, I believe that you can like kind of level up faster with your neurons if you have a baby with you. Because it's giving cool. you smart ideas, which I appreciate. <laughs> Those sense. smart babies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you've got critically low dopamine right now. There goes my hys- yeah, I, I, I got hysteric. For just a moment. I didn't cut there. 
Mm-hmm. This that was consistent. What do you know what happened from when you hit hysteria to this moment? <laughs> Is there like a time skip that happens or it was kind of confusing to me. Yeah, I'm not sure what the hmm. all the bad effects of hysteria are. I mean, your dopamine your dopamine remains low. Yeah. Uh, you're out of the fight. Other than that, I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Just cool. blacked out. So coming out this year. <laughs> yep. Forty coming bucks. Out this year, PS4, Xbox One, uh-huh. PC. All right. Very interesting. Thank you so much for doing all this, at least we appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And Leo, thanks for asking such smart questions. (laughs) That's what I'm here for. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Wow, that person was really good at playing that game. Those other people were really good at talking about it, too. If you find yourself saying either of these things, subscribe to Game Informer on YouTube for new episodes of New Gameplay Today, every week covering the hottest new and upcoming releases.